Hi YouTube, here is my um, 2003 Pneumatic Henry HVR200. Now, I saw on eBay a Henry from 2000, um, the one with the rocker switch on the side but without the power head socket. And I and I it was twenty two pound and I thought mm, well I'll buy that, so I bought it, and for some reason when I unboxed it, um, I was to find that it was a two thousand and three model that they sent me. So I asked them why they'd sent me a two thousand and three model and not the one in the picture, and she says that she's some like, um, parts, place that. She says she's got like a little shop thing and she sells parts off, a bit like a car scrapyard. And um, she said that she just shouted through HVR 200 for packing. Um, so obviously a lot of Henrys have model number HVR 200 that are different specification or slightly different um, in modifications. Um, so obviously they sent me this one and it was kind of a happy mistake really because I already have a 99 model which is which is the same as the 2000 model because they made that model with the rocker switch and with the power head socket blanked off from 99 to 2002 so it was it was the same as one I've already got really but you know I can never have too many 2000s Henrys I love them but um anyway so yeah, I haven't got a 2003 model, so I thought, mm, well, I'm not sending this back because I haven't got one of these versions yet, so it was kind of a happy mistake, really, so that's that anyway. But as you can see, it's in pretty good condition, and uh, the floor tool isn't original. Obviously, the wands and the hose would be original, um, but the floor tool would have had two pedals instead of just one, and it would have had still the short neck on the nozzle there. Um, they did away with this type of floor tool in about 2001-ish. Um, when they introduced the push button on off switch they um, changed the floor head to the two pedal one. But anyway, um, when this first arrived and after my um, wonder of why that she sent me a different Henry than was in the picture, I turned it on and it could have sent an earthquake across the UK. It was ridiculous. It vibrated the house down nearly. It was so loud. Um, so anyway, when I took this apart, I thought I'm going to have to take this fan casing off because there must, there's got to be dirt build up on the fan because I could see it. Just when you've got that little hole where you look into the fan chamber, you can just see the fan uh, fins and I could see a build up of dirt on him. So I thought I had to get this fan case enough, so I managed to prise it off with a chisel and a hammer, um, which sounds quite dramatic. But anyway, I got it off, and there must have been about a half a centimetre thick layer of dust on each fin of the fan blades. It was... I, I've never seen anything like it. I think it had been used bagless. I mean, there's no question of that, but... Anyway, I cleaned it all off um, with some little cotton buds... Um, I believe in America you call them Q-tips. They're what you clean your ears out with anyway. So, because I couldn't undo the nut to loosen the fan. Well, to take the fan off. Because it's like a little bolt that you have to unscrew. And then the fan will pull off. But the bolt was too stiff. It wouldn't come off. So I had to use cotton buds to clean each fin of the fan. Which took a long time. But it was well worth it. Because once I put this back together, um, it it sounded absolutely fine. So... Uh, that was that anyway. So, um, it's all literally just been cleaned and I've just reassembled it all. And um, I thought, well, since nobody's in, I might as well take this opportunity to make a video of it. So, here it is. Anyway, um, it is the single speed, uh, single fan motor version. This is the model that replaced the... Um, single speed rocker switch version without the um, power head socket um, that version ran from 99 to 2002 and this version 
the single speed push button one ran from mid 2002 to mid 2004 and the post is at the door now so my dog's barking let's wait for it to stop there we go sorry about that anyway yeah so here we are so as you can see it has the push button on off switch and no high low switch because obviously this is a um, single fan um, single stage motor version so I'll just show you the rating sticker um, so it's 230 volts 50 to 60 Hertz 1100 watts max 850 watts IEC it's made obviously in the UK so it's Pneumatic International Limited Chard England TA20 to GB model HVR200 the little barcode there that they added I don't know what that's for when it focuses again there we go serial number 03220556 so of course the 0322 means that it was made in the 22nd week of 2003 and you've got the electrical markings there so obviously the handle doesn't lock it's a bit stiff for some reason but it, it doesn't lock like it does on the new models um, so the model that was before this that had the rocker switch here um, had like an, another square cut out on this side which was where the power head socket was and instead of just moulding it flat, whoops, they just put a blanking piece there, I don't know why. Um, but as you can see on this one, they've just moulded it all flat and just cut a hole out here for the push button switch. Still got the two side exhausts here. Um, the stabiliser over the back wheel. Um, it's got no rubber bumper, just plastic. And the wheels are black, the older type wheels. Uh, I believe some of the 2004 models, which were this same spec as this one, had the um, plastic caps to match the colour of the bucket. Um, but at this time they would have still just been black. Um, obviously they've got it's got the white outline lettering and the transfer face. Um, and inside it still has that um, filter well if you want to call it a filter um, this shower curtain sort of affair and it would have had paper bags originally but obviously it's got HEPA flow in here now I'm not sure if some of the um, mid 2004 models that were the same spec as uh, this one would have had the Tritex filter I'm not sure but now this was a bit different I hadn't, I hadn't seen this before um, it was quite a small uh, the height of this um, where the motor sits and the motor case in here is quite small it's usually quite large it's definitely a lot taller on my 2000 sorry 99 model which has the same motor as this well it would have done if I didn't replace it but um, but anyway yeah, it's just a bit different and you can um, access the motor underneath rather than having to take well you'd still have to take it all apart but you can everything to unscrew is underneath rather than the the casing that says Henry on it that you'd have to unscrew first and then get inside this way to unscrew the the motor casing so that's another change that they made Oops. Um, now they lengthen the card to 10 meters from 8 meters in about 2001 ish um, because Henry's before that would have had an 8 meter cable but anyway, that's that. So, this has probably been a disastrous overview. But, um, I'll get it plugged in now because I'm sure you've had enough of me um, droning on as usual. 
There we go. Now, for some reason, this cable is kinking up a lot. I don't know why. There we are. So, yes, it is very long cord, so... Anyway, just plug it in. There we go. So, um, I'm not sure if I said this or not, but you can use the push button switch as a foot switch or you can turn it on with your hand, it's up to you. I like um, turning it on with my foot, but you might not. But anyway, let's get it out of the way here. Right, so here goes. There you go. Very prominent whistle from him there. Oh, I do love that. As I'm sure you know. There we go. So it is a little bit louder than the um, Henry with this same motor that um, was before this model, which, like I said, had the rocker switch. Um, because that model had um, motor... Oops. Stay still. Um, oh for God's sake, what on earth are you doing that? Anyway, because the model before this had um, sound protection, um, well, sound dubbing in material, whereas this one doesn't. It's a pain in the bloody ass, this, because it keeps coiling up. Come on. I've never had such a fight to put the card away in a Henry before. There we go. Right. There we go. I don't know why his head keeps spinning round like that. That's annoying. Anyway. So that's probably been a bit of a shambles of a demonstration of this Henry, but anyway, there it is. I probably wouldn't do any better if I re-recorded it. So anyway, thanks for watching, and there is my 2003 pneumatic Henry HVR200. Thanks for watching.